Howdy folks, you know it's been a while since I've done a toy hunt, but uh, with either a lack of interesting things to buy or a lack of funds to buy interesting things, I thought, ah, why not get out and try to film one today? First stop's going to be Target, then a Walmart, then another Target, then another Walmart, and we're going to see what's out there. Maybe I'll get lucky and find some early release of uh, Perceptor or something like that. I don't know. Hang tight, we're gonna walk in Target real quick. It's Kato! All right, so our first trip into Target, I always start on the same side over here with the Bakugan stuff that I never really pick up. But uh, we move quickly over to the Marvel Legends, and it looks to me like America um, Chavez. Uh, maybe it's a little too early to call her a peg warmer, but there's a lot of her on the shelf and some of the leftover Eternals stuff. By the way, I watched Eternals, was not impressed. And I know next to nothing about America Chavez, so I don't know. Kind of glad I've stopped messing with Marvel Legends that much, other than a few holdouts. Let's see, these little three and three quarter inch Marvel Legends, not really my cup of tea, a lot like the Super 7 small stuff. G.I. Joe figs, more of the movie stuff seems to be warming the pegs. Gung Ho Lady J. One thing that's exceptionally cool is these were tempting because there are some characters in here that I've just never seen before. This Game Master drone, Major Blood. Uh, I love that these are being represented in, in some form, Bazooka. But just not for the price. Super 7, not for the price. But they do look very cool. Going on to, let's see, we got some more Marvel Legends. Oh yeah, that dropped, a, dropped a Snake Eyes. If you drop something, pick it up. Just be polite. Put it back on the peg. Plenty of Batman stuff. Loving these three Joker toys. But I, I again, I mean the, the McFarlane, the Masters of the Universe, Marvel Legends... I just did a video recently on the prices going up on everything, and certain things have to take a back seat, and those are the ones that are doing it. Beast Megatron, Fantastic Figure, Tigatron, which I still haven't reviewed yet, plenty of those, and Sweeps, along with Rekgar. A few deluxes, you can see Black Arachnia there, um, not anything new, Cup, not the new Cup, the old Cup, um, but yeah, so nothing really new at this target. More Eternals figures warming up those pegs. Going around to the side where I normally take a look at the Masters of the Universe Jurassic Park. I love these Jurassic Park figures. They are huge. I mean, hats off to the fans of this movie series because you guys are getting some phenomenal figures. So, I, th I think they look great. This is more of the Masters of the Universe stuff that I didn't really collect at all. But I had a good time watching this series. This more kid-friendly Masters of the Universe. I really liked it. The toys look super weird, but, you know, I'm glad that it exists for people that want it. Clamp Champ, Buzz Off, uh, so many cool little Origins figures that, again, I had to back away from. Scare Glow, glad I picked up that limited one. There's Andra. I seem to be seeing her on the shelf a lot. I hope she's not a shelf warmer. I think she's actually a pretty cool figure. And uh, Fisto, of course. This one's always tempting because what a, what a unique character and... Again, just had to back off the Revelation stuff. Love that Stinkor. If you if you haven't, uh, check out Inutabi. Uh, Inutabi Collects. Uh, Inutabi's Reviews buddy of mine. Link in the description below. He's reviewed that whole wave, so I won't be doing it. But I mean, he did a great job uh, reviewing those. So if you want to check out that uh, wave of Masters of the Universe, he's the go-to guy for that because he got those pretty early. Next up, you get this uh, Stridor. Great looking figure from what I understand. You can actually make that work with the Revelation stuff. But it wouldn't surprise me if we eventually get a Revelation scale uh, stride or two. I think some of those would be awesome. Star Wars figs. I don't collect them. But I know some of you guys that watch do. So I like to buzz over those as well as the wrestling figures. I am not up to date at all on modern uh, wrestling. Whether it's WWE or um, whatever is out there. AEW. I'd like to get into that. But... There you go. I just figure I like to show those for those that like it. 
Over to the NECA aisle, we get more and more TMNT from NECA, these two packs. Again, not a fan enough to spend it. RIP Betty White. Love you, mean it. Awesome. And some of these monster figures. I, I think NECA does a good job with those. It's just not something that I, I gravitate to. Oof. Eternal shelf warming. I guess I wasn't alone and not really digging that that much. The NECA aisle disappoints a good bit. There's not really here anything that I want. I love that Dr. Fate. I think it's a gorgeous figure. And that uh, that Henry Cavill looks better than the one we had in Justice League. So better than the CGI mustache or whatever. The Riddler, I stopped getting the Batman figures too. The old school Batman figures. Been looking for Andre the Giant for uh, the Princess Bride. But again, Super 7 and these cool TMNT figures, these random figures that we may never see other than Mondo Gecko in uh, six inch form, but the no articulation and the price point, no thanks. Headed off to Walmart. Starting off at Walmart, we got the Jurassic Park stuff. You can see a bunch of empty pegs there. G.I. Joe movie figures. Again, not something I was into. I, I knew right away I probably would not get into the G.I. Joe movie figures. Just just me, although the Baroness looks awesome. Not a whole lot going on here. I am stoked for this new Batman. I don't care what anybody says. I think Pattinson's going to kill it. I, I have high hopes and high expectations. I think this is going to be the one to watch. It's going to be strange, but I'm, I'm here for it. More of the old school Beast Wars stuff. I didn't pick up a single one of those. Core Shockwave, Core Ravage. Still might get that Ravage. Uh, subscriber mentioned before that he would look good with uh, that Archcore Frostlight. And he's not wrong. I think I could sit that next to that Frostlight no problem. Studio Series. Hot Rod. Rekgar. Overall, uh, the sweeps. Uh, Studio Series Shockwave. Phenomenal figure. I don't care about the alt mode, but the robot mode for that makes it worth it completely. Oh, more Star Wars. I know you guys out there. He knew Toby if you're watching. I'm sure there's probably something here that you wanted me to get. But I didn't. My bad. Uh, the 6 inch. I love the way they look. And I like Star Wars. I'm not I'm not a collector or a reviewer of Star Wars stuff. So I'm not going to start now. Not unless uh, the economy takes a turnaround. And I just have an abundance of cash that I can just start reviewing anything and everything. But... Things have to take a back seat to Transformers and G.I. Joe and Action Force right now. Halo stuff. I think the Halo stuff looks cool. Love, love, love the Warthog and that 6-inch Master Chief. But, again, maybe if I still played it. You guys let me know what do you think about the new Halo game if you're playing that. I hear it's, I hear it's pretty great. Fortnite. Tried it once. Sucked at it. Not going to ever play it again. I just I choose to watch T-Man play it. This is a cool looking figure. I mean, Halo or not, Samurai Halo Spartan. Yeah, that, that's, I'd stay out of his way. More wrestling figures again. Not a wrestling guy, but I think they look cool except for this weird looking rock. Looking like putty instead of rock. Oh, oh the NECA section at Walmart. Um, Nice to see Goliath there. Love that figure. Huge wings, man. Can't wait for the regular wings to come out uh, with Brooklyn. I was hoping that maybe I could see Thalog, even though I don't necessarily want that. These pulp style 85th anniversary um, Phantom figures. Love that. Flash Gordon. I think this is like the third repaint to come out for those. It's not just a repaint. There's some remolding too. And this line... Oh man, that that is such, that's such a random toy line. Just rolling over to the other side. There's rarely ever anything over here but a bunch of pops, and that's not my cup of tea. I used to get a lot more pops than I do now. Well, I guess it's easy to get more than zero, isn't it? I don't get any now. Now, I surprisingly just decided to go into GameStop. I was like, I haven't been to GameStop in a while, so I figured I'd check it out. More of the the three and three quarter Marvel Legends. That Hercules, I'm liking these old uh, cardstock 
figures, the non build a figure, that Tiger looks good, that Hercules looks awesome. Again, if cash flow was uh, irrelevant, I'd get one of everything. Except Shadow Panther. Screw that. That thing's hideous. I wouldn't get it if I was a millionaire. Recently saw Ghostbusters. If you haven't seen Ghostbusters Afterlife yet, get on that. That was amazing. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Hey look, Star Wars stuff that I'm going to ignore. Uh, walking over to the other action figure. They change stuff around here. Uh, hey look, it's actual Chewbacca and not that hideous Black Chrysanthemum that they just announced. Good lord, that thing gross looking. What a cheap way out. More Marvel Legends. Uh, eternal stuff, don't care. Uh, love that Morbius. Or Mobius. What's his name? Moreland. Yeah, get it right, dummy. This is the one that I was probably most tempted to pick up. That Hydra Stomper and the thing. I have a, th I have a, a thing for like big bulky Marvel Legends figures. I think you, you get more for your money out of those, but that uh, Hydra Stomper was like 53 bucks. Not going to get my money out of that. Uh, that's about it. Uh, these Witcher figures look cool. Uh, I love the look of those, but I, I'm not a big enough fan. I love the game. I like the series, but not enough to get figures to represent them or review those. A whole new target. Uh, much like the first, I always start off over here at the box. I don't know why I do that. I think it's just habit from walking in. More of the Marvel Legends, which, by the way, this Hulk figure did not want to stay on the peg. It's like it wanted to go home, but uh, it ain't coming home with me. I, I don't care enough. Spider-Man would be the only one that I would be the most tempted to get just to have that Spider-Man. Joe figures, uh, Super 7, but not quite the selection that the other Target had. Gung-Ho, Baroness. Uh, I think Snake Eyes might have been back there, the movie version. More of the DC stuff. Again, I can't wait for the Batman. Uh, I love how they're how they're kind of Batman year one, year two in this. So really looking forward to that. Studio Series Sideswipe and Cup. You know me, I don't get a lot of the Bayverse figures, so pass. It was nice seeing these core class figures show up, and I believe back there, yep, right there, was a Soundwave. Probably the only one I'm tempted to pick up. Rhinox, uh, Cyclonus. I haven't seen the Cyclonus in store in a while, along with a Tigertron. Which I have, but I have yet to review. I've only used them as like a uh, size comparison here and there. More Rekgar. And a buttload of Beast Megatron. And another one that I'm just not going to get. I have gone over and over on myself about getting this Coronation Starscream, but that's not remotely Studio Series. Get out my face with that nonsense. It just looks like a cheap way to do it not my thing um this was a random shelf of course more batman stuff with the bermuda trunks and the uh buzzworthy cybertron bumblebee heading over to the masters of the universe and jurassic park scare go again great figure if you didn't pick up the limited version and you're a uh, master of the universe fan you should get that. It's an awesome, awesome figure. Mosquito. Los Moscos. What was that? Mosquito. And uh, Clamp Champ and Fisto Stinkor. I love the way he looks. But uh, again, go check out Inu Tabi's review of those. Wrestling figures. Meh. I, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad that wrestling is still popular enough for people to want to get. I mean, I think that's cool. Yeah, but it ain't me. Savage He-Man. I was really hoping to see a Triclops. I think the one that I would be most tempted to pick up is Triclops. I think he looks great. Stridor again. Over to the NECA aisle. More NECA TMNT. They got to be making bank on this TMNT stuff. Good grief. They are giving us some random characters, so. But I could easily see sinking a bunch of money into the NECA. And somebody let me know in the comments, what the hell is Misfits? That guy looks awesome and creepy, but I have no idea what it's from. Which is weird. I normally know stuff like that. More of the, uh, that's the other repaint or re retool or repaint of the um, Flash Gordon Defenders stuff. So, 
yeah that's i think that's the third of its kind and i still haven't seen the previous wave to finish out the first set so i don't know maybe they're not going to do it more pops more dc the witcher figures look good again just not my cup of tea but i think they look awesome the batman stuff you can see more batman in uh shark repellent bermuda shorts another line that i gave up on the spawn stuff love those super seven i mean let me rephrase that i like the look and the characters they chose for the super seven star trek stuff but and get your batmobiles here plenty of them i think the only one i'm missing from this line is the riddler uh, i'm not going to get the bermuda short batman last up the final walmart of the day more joe stuff this was probably the most disappointing walmart and that's the way this walmart goes it's either awesome or crap and today it was crap so not a lot going on here uh, more of the same a bunch of empty spaces they did have blaster which again if you don't have blaster i did a review of him outstanding figure that is easily one of the best and could have been a studio series figure as far as i'm concerned uh more sound wave hot rod glad to see hot rod coming back that's a good one for people that missed out and that's about it i mean there's not really i don't think there's anything else at this walmart i apologize for doing a voiceover i had um i had hoped to do just a regular toy hunt i don't normally like doing these voiceovers oh that red hood looks great but no guns like a lion with no teeth stupid no gun rule yeah you heard me right but yeah I, i'm sorry i had to do this as a voiceover everything in the stores was so loud and the music was so loud i think right about now sister sledge was blasting in the background if you don't know who that is then i'm too old um that uh, the play sets for this master of the universe are really cool i'm glad the kids are getting some pretty cool play sets evil ends weird head so crazy speaking of weird heads there's a wrestling figure that's about to pop up over here in a second and it looks so just strange like a little remember the beetlejuice where the head shrunk at the end of it that's what the figure that's coming up reminds me of jeff hardy i know the name don't know much about him i think he looks cool the rock the tattoo detail on that is awesome but yeah i don't i don't again i'm not going to be pretend to know here's an empty box <laughs> that's a funny joke look at this 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 lady right here just had a little tiny pea head it looks ridiculous so you have it uh two targets a GameStop, and a couple of walmarts not a lot going on in i mean there was plenty of stuff there just nothing that really either i already had it or just things have to get cut out from wanting them like some of those masters of the universe figures that next wave uh those look great but something had to give and that was the one thing to go the uh most let's see the, the thing I, I saw that i nearly picked up was that hydra stomper at gamestop but man that thing is 53 dollars. just was it 53 i think it was 52.99 that's crazy yeah that's that was a pass uh, the Fantastic Four line, I almost picked up that, uh, the thing, but overall, I mean, it was a money-saving experience, and the only thing I picked up while I was there was a massive headache that I got to try to get rid of, so I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments if there was something there that uh, you would have picked up if you were me or that you were looking for, but uh, nothing nothing new from for the collection, nothing new to review uh, from this haul, but it was nice seeing stores pretty stocked up. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Subscribe uh, to myself and the other Rejected Cons, Sardar News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. All the links will be in the description below. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. Today's video featured music by Word Burglar. For more information, check out wordburglar.com or the link in the description below. I'd also like to thank Junkie Dave for It's Kato, my intro theme song. Transforming with a monkey on my spinal